All right, so this is my list. So in all honesty, what we are trying to do is I have to repaint my kitchen and my dining room. I mean, excuse me, my living room and my dining room. More of a gray color as the color we have. It's just been painted and repainted and we're just kind of done with it. We've lived in this house since 2008 and it's been that color. So we're ready for a change. So uh, I have things I want to do this, you know, whenever I get to the pro the project or whatever so sweep mop wash walls touch up trim and then okay. fill the wall in the dining room who, so who are we gonna send the invitations to? like here we my husband had to replace the trim or something so hey. this got messed up and this got messed up so we have to just like you know tackle and spack or what spackle it and as you can see this is where it got messed up and my husband fixed it so I need to like caulk all these holes and fill it all in and fix that and when we had a dog, he broke this. So Jeff said we looked for these and we couldn't find them before, but I'm gonna look again and see if I can get a replacement one. Because he said he can take them off the wall, but I like the way that they look. So that's what we're gonna do. And then we are going to eventually paint the, we're gonna paint the bottom half black, uh, dark gray keep that white and do the top part light gray. I was talking to my friend and she mentioned that and I'm like, ooh, I like that. And then we will paint the door either light or dark gray. I actually wanna replace this door. This door needs to be replaced, but my husband fights me on it, so I'm not sure if we're going to be replacing it this time or not, because eventually our plan was to take, this wall here isn't a load-bearing wall, so we were gonna just rip this wall out put a slider here on the deck or like French doors or something like that and then have this just be like one giant open area so I think that's why he doesn't want to do it so we'll see but that will be painted to match and then the living room my goals are to um, flip the chairs and couch wash them all wash the windows uh, sweet mop dust and vacuum so I don't have to do a lot in the living room we will be painting this room however my issue with painting this room right now is if you see my kids always push the chair up to here so it's ripped the paint off that's this was originally dark wood trim so it's ripped it all off it's ripped here on the walls from the chair sitting there so and it's the same all the way down so I don't want to replace that because our goal is to buy a sectional couch we want to buy it around christmas time maybe january we just basically want to get a deal on it because the couches or the sectionals that we found that we're looking at are about a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars we live in a state thankfully where there's no tax so um you know we want to find either like a free delivery as we don't have a way to get it here or even if we could find free delivery and then maybe a sale so uh, that won't happen until Christmas. That's kind of kind of going to be our Christmas gift to one another. So, um, yeah. So when we paint in here, like you can see, like I have some touching up, like I have to do there. Like there's a lot of touching up to do and I'm not going to keep this anymore. I don't think I'm kind of over it. I think what I'm going to do is keep these three pictures, but I'll probably get rid of the rest. Although you know then I won't have anything for family pictures so I'm unsure on that I do love the way this is here I like my lamp I will probably be getting a new lamp base not a shade my shade I'm fine with um, and then the decor is always changing but this room will go to the light color gray that's going to be in the dining room so that it's all kind of together because my um, kitchen is like a blue gray and then sadly this will have to come down because this is like a vinyl sticker thing so I'm gonna take that down and I'm th I was gonna put like a sunburst mirror here but I have this mirror so that doesn't really make sense so I might actually talk to my husband and see if he wants to mount the TV on the wall and then maybe put like a table similar to this underneath it I don't know we just bought this entertainment center so we really shouldn't do that but you know maybe we'll just leave that area blank I'm unsure yet but I'm just I'm getting older and my style has changed multiple times in this house but I kind of like the thought of just like a clean very little on the walls it's just easier on your eyes 
I think. And now I lost my list. Ellie, did you take my list? Okay, so, and then, so that's the living room for now because we're not painting until we get the sectional. And then the kitchen, we want to wash the walls because I recently painted the walls last summer. And then I'm going to work on the trim paint, sweeping and mopping. Same thing in the hallway, wash the walls, do the trim. And then I have all the doors that I want to paint. So I just labeled how many numbers we have basically. So we have one two three four five six so my goal today is to wash the kitchen walls and into the hallway walls and then work on floor trim and possibly work on um door trim um i'm not going to worry about the doors today because i need to pace myself because if i do a lot then i'm going to get burnt out and not going to want to finish the project as we don't play with scissors no, baby girl, we do not play with scissors. Um, because I don't want to get burnt out. So that's my goal today is to do that. In all honesty, I would love to rip all of this trim off and paint it outside and get it done the correct way. But my husband's not going to do that and I'm not going to be able to put it back on. So that solves that. So yeah, so that's my goal today is mainly the kitchen and hallway painting where like you can see I was lazy and like that's paint that got on there and they're just the doors are dirty in general we have kids they have dirty dirty hands if i do any doors it will be this main door because it gets filthy i just washed this the other day and you can see like how dirty it gets and that's just with the kids and i've gotten to the point too that some of it like i've washed so much here that the paint has completely chipped off so it's gonna be a long day but i'll get it done so I got my paint out. This is the bare paint and primer all in one, blah, 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 zero or low odor, zero VOC. This is my favorite brush that I use. It's, um, I forget who makes it. I'll try to remember to link it down below, but I love this brush. It's really good. Like you can really like manipulate it and I never have to use tape. And like occasionally I'll get a little bit of paint, you know, places, but for the most part, I don't. So I've got everything up to this door washed. So I'm gonna get that done now. I'm gonna get the kids all set so that they stay away for a little bit. Cause I don't want them walking up and downstairs when there's wet paint everywhere. And um, I don't know, it's 10, 20 now. So let's see how long it takes me. All right, so everyone likes a good before and after. So this is the before. You can see there's chipping and me dripping paint from a year ago. And I'm gonna paint it and we'll see how it looks. There's one coat down. I probably could use another coat, but one coat down looking good already. Well, I got to a point that I can stop. It's I've been painting for about an hour and ten minutes, and I don't think that the kids are gonna last much longer with me like having to brush them off and keeping them downstairs or whatever. So I got um the kitchen is pretty much done. Another painting tip, if you're going to be painting like, you know, over a few days, put your um, paintbrush in a Ziploc container and then put it in the fridge. It stays nice and wet so that you can reuse it and you don't have to wash it out and all that stuff. So um, I got the, the trim all done in the kitchen. Um, I got the door done on the inside at least. And then I got this door done and that door done. So the kitchen is completely done. I may do one more coat on the door tomorrow. Not quite sure, but I'm gonna stop for now. Just because I don't wanna be like telling the kids, okay, for five hours, mommy's gotta paint. Like, cause they're just, just not gonna be able to handle that. So if I can do like, I think I'm gonna do an hour a day of these projects and see how long it takes me. Just because it's summer, you know, they don't wanna be stuck inside. So it looks much better. Um, nice and neat and everything so once this all dries I'll come inside and sweep and mop in here and I did do one coat there two coats there and I did one coat around the bathroom door so tomorrow 
I'll actually, whenever I mop, I'm going to mop that area and I'm going to roll up that rug and just put it downstairs for a little bit and um, so that I can get that done tomorrow because I think I'll be able to get most of the hallway done tomorrow and some of the doors. So now I'm going to see if the kids want to go outside and I'm going to mow two parts of the lawn. We have like a huge area that's on a hill, a little area, and then my backyard. So I'm going to do the backyard in that little area and then in front of my driveway and shock the pool and get the pool cleaned out and get all that stuff organized. And then I'm going to be done for the day with chores because I don't want to tire myself out. So that'll give me enough, you know, plenty to do. And then uh, this act, I'll put Ellie down for a nap. And then when she wakes up, I'll get up and just do my like picking up. Like the kitchen table needs to be picked up. Um, you know, just little odds and ends so that I'm not cleaning. All day long and burning myself out and burning the kids out from you know being bored and blah 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 so um yeah let me go get that stuff done and then i can take a shower and relax and it's good that it's summertime because ellie's home um i mean ellie's naps are much later so that uh i can you know do stuff like this and it's not interfering with the nap because this is normally when she goes home for a nap like during the school season and i'll also say get a wet rag a few of them like if you wash your walls with them you can wash the floor if you spill paint on it um i use them all over the place and then i will have to like buff out the floor a little bit in some spots where like paint you know like spit down or whatever but i'm fine with that but i also took down our baby gate here and i don't know why it was stupid but it hit me so hard that like we're getting to that point where we're done with babies and you know all these little things are going away you know we only have ellie's still in like pull-ups part-time she probably she goes potty at the house a lot so it's like i don't know kind of hard hitting whenever it, you realize that they're definitely growing up so let me go out and do that because it's hot i'm sure outside and it's gonna like knock me out of my butt i'm sure i'm probably gonna put some headphones in and listen to music while i do it just so that i'm like in a zone, yeah, it's 84 right now and it's sunny, so let's get this done. Well, the door is looking much better. I definitely am gonna do another coat there. I need to fix a little spot there and then I'll have to do all that. I just mopped this floor. This floor just got mopped and it's drying. Uh, I went outside to do some yard work and unfortunately my husband, it was like one of those things where like everything goes wrong and there was no rhyme or reason for it, so. My husband just said wait till he gets home and he'll figure everything out. So I am just going to go through my little uh, drawer here. And this is getting messed up with like water or whatever. So I'm going to put some contact paper down and clean it really good. And then I bought these new little containers to go in here. I'm going to keep this one. But then I'm going to put the other three here and just organize this a little bit better and get rid of some stuff and hope that I can get some of this stuff because that's like chalk or something. Um, get this stuff put away and organized and um, then I'll probably I don't know if I'll be done for the day I might because uh, my husband's gonna come home and do yard work so I'll feel bad if I'm just like sitting down while he does that but I think I want to maybe I'll do the couches and the chairs because this room all I have to do is like clean all that stuff actually I'll flip the chairs over mop there then put it back then flip these chairs over down here and mop there and then I will dust or I'll dust all that stuff bef before and then that'll all be clean and then all I'll have to do is like mop here and here and uh, this room will be good and then clean the windows um, and I think this week I'm going to see if my husband will pressure wash the outside of the windows because they get so grody after a while you know. So yeah, so let me go through this. I've been going through this often, so it's mainly just like there's pencil shavings from the kids in here and stuff and just making sure that we have all these cups and stuff like that. Like really, do we need all these straws? So uh, gonna go through this while they eat lunch and then after they get done eating lunch, I'll clean that mess up. All right, this is as good as this is gonna get. This is just like water and maybe this like color leaking onto it from us putting it you know from the dishwasher so i'm going to uh put this contact paper i got from i think like the target dollar spot it was probably three dollars not one dollar 
but I am going to apply this because we spent a lot of money on these cabinets and I love them, they're beautiful. So I wanna keep them in good condition. All right, so this is redone. So I didn't cover there, I may or may not, but I have all the straws here, pens, markers, Sharpies, and then like our filters, our measuring cups. These things should probably go in there too, like the new corn things, because these ones are all rusted. So I think I'm gonna throw these out. My measuring cups here, which in all honesty, I wanna get something different. I don't like cups like that. Uh, this is Chuck E. Cheese tokens that we have for the next time we go. Uh, some lids and turvis cups and stuff and I have a few more of those that are washing and then like some uh, like cards post-its my checkbook some lighters some stickers just like random stuff is here and then there's still some room to grow so I may see if I can find a better measuring thing because I have most of my measuring cups up there and I would like to like get them all up there so that's done, but I think I'm gonna get some another pack of these because I figure if I can't use them here, I can use them in the office and uh, get that nice and organized. And then I have these Disney pin backs that need to go in my Disney bin. This contact paper can go back into the bathroom to finish that pro project. And then I just have a blade. I was using this blade to cut this stuff really well, but my um, husband will need to put that away when he gets back. But I think that's gonna be it for my cleaning today. I have some coins to put in my coin jar for the coin challenge and I'm happy with my progress today I, I can't complain so. all right guys so it's like much later in the day and I ended up getting this whole door frame whatever done this done this door done and like let me get up close so you guys can see like it's done um this door has one coat. It really should have another coat because it was bad. This is probably the worst door yet. Got that done. Got that done. That done. That done. Those probably need another coat. But like, look what we're working with. Like, that's before. Like, see how bad that is? And see how it's almost like yellowed? Or, I don't know, like, turned like off white? Because you can see in between the doors how I did that. So, this part is done. I took a shower. My husband came home and mowed the lawn for me. Very productive day. I'll probably take off tomorrow and just focus on cleaning. Maybe that's when I'll do my living room. Um, and then we'll be right back at it in a couple days to do some dining room painting. So thanks for following along. Sorry it was just me cleaning, painting, whatever. But I thought you guys would enjoy seeing what we're up to this summer. So we'll see you guys soon. Bye.